Godzilla vs. Kong has been released to much fanfare, with many positive reviews regarding the reduced roles of humans and an increase in fun fights. But that is just the surface level. We are going to delve into the deeper meaning and subtexts of the film. This is Exasperated Nerd Explains. Much like the original, Gojira was an exploration of the dangers of atomic power and modernity. The latest entry in the MonsterVerse is really about man's place in the world, staying afloat in a sea of technology and information, trying not to drown in the overwhelming morass that is the modern world. The central conflict is really about being torn between technology and nature. The Hollow Earth, as it were, represents the hole many people feel in their hearts, lacking meaning and purpose in their lives, even though the standard of living is leagues above anything, even in the recent past. You see, Kong, despite being a primate, communicating through language and utilizing tools, actually represents the past here, an almost Luddite aversion to technology. A Rousseauian return to nature, showing tranquility, peace, and a focus on being home. He lashes out against technology, creating the facade of nature instead of letting him live in it. He is restless and caged by this technology. Godzilla, though some may say he is just a giant lizard, actually represents modern society and our relationship with technology. His atomic breath showing the undeniable power that we now wield as a species against the natural world. After the events of previous films, humanity has started to see Godzilla as a savior against these other monsters, which represent primal urges and a fear of technology. Godzilla protects us from the vast, untamed nature, and it could even said he is worshipped by some as their hero. These collective delusions are shattered when Godzilla attacks Florida. The death count is very low, especially compared to the battles yet to come in the film. But it leads the human characters down two disparate paths, one being to protect Kong and the other being to overthrow Godzilla with even greater technology. That second path is Mecha Godzilla who represents the evolution of Godzilla and the next stage of technology in the world, where power and tech is no longer looked upon as a savior, but something that dominates and rules us in our everyday lives, snuffing out any connection to nature, a cold, unfeeling future with no regard to anything else. The climax of the film is really about finding a balance between our own Godzilla and our own Kong inside. Only by working together, finding a place in the world for both of them, are they able to overcome the threat of this Mecha Godzilla. In the end, Kong winds up ruling the hole that is the Hollow Earth, or the hole in our hearts. While Godzilla still reigns on the surface world, this representation of a world of balance showing we can still keep ourselves and find inner peace while embracing modernity and technology. It is really a cautionary tale of the dangers that over-reliance and the worship of technology can bring if we aren't careful. The answer lies not just in Kong or Godzilla, but in embracing both of them as a way forward into the future. And the fights are basically just giant wrestling matches filled with explosions and destruction and neon lights, with Kong outclassed, but the military keeps coming in with steel chairs and the way of missiles to keep Godzilla from using atomic breath and turning Kong into charcoal. And there's an axe made from an old Godzilla spike in that giant throne room for monkeys and junk sci-fi holding all together with this hollow earth theory anti-gravity stuff and a Ghidorah skull and just lots of deep stuff, guys. But what did you think of the film? Did you find any deeper meaning in the kaiju brawl of monkey versus lizard? What did you think of this entry compared to the other recent Kong and Godzilla movies? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please like and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thanks for watching. Bye.